back to the Balloon Blast video show. He's Scott Tripp. He's Sam Cremains. And somewhere or another on vacation is Purple Pig. He leaves us in charge while he goes and gallivants across the globe. Such is the life of a Purple Pig. It is, it is indeed. But you know, we're hard workers and we're uh, keeping the home fort down. Something like that. Well, guys, I have to apologize that somehow or another our Halloween Spectacular is still lost in the editing base somewhere. I'm going to blame our intern. Oh, yeah. Interns? We, um, we got to fire that intern. Yeah. But man, once you guys see it, you won't be able to unsee it. <laughs> this is true. <laughs> it was but now rough. that makes this one December, and what do we have for December, Scott? Oh, we have Christmas Eve and the holiday that follows. No, we have uh, the Rogue One premiere, remember? All right, for that you get another old person candy. I don't want another old person candy. That's why you get another old person <laughs> oh. candy. No, okay. lots of stuff has happened. We actually took Balloon Blast uh, live. We went to St. Louis. We did a four-hour... Um, Extravaganza. Mini workshop, Mini I think workshop. is a good call for yeah. it. We taught three classes, and Scott gave away the bare bones construction of a balloon show you can take and ready make and go out on and perform it like oh. the following day. So bare bones sounds a little bleak. It sounds sort of no, like no, a, no, no, no. It's a like, structure. Okay. Not like a, it's a it's a substructure that helps build everything else up for your balloon show. Quit that, please. Okay. All right. Um, <laughs> but also, um, because. It's December. It's time to go Christmas shopping. It is. It is. And we actually have a Christmas treat for all of our viewers. You didn't know about this. I didn't know about oh, this. Oh, but I know, know some friends who do have a Christmas treat for all you guys out there. Tawny Bubbles and Todd Newfeld have put out a balloon calendar, a balloon swimsuit calendar. You can go over to balloonalicious.com and order that for Christmas gifts for your own wall, for your office cubicle, whatever. But if you get one of those, it goes to help uh, uh, sick children, and, and the charity is called Cure for the Kids. So do your part, order one of those calendars, and and you know pitch in for the for the kids there. What, mm, those what, are what, good. Is, what is that? Oh, I'm sorry. I feel a little bad about this. I kind of ripped off the idea mm -hmm. because I'm like balloon delicious balloon calendar sounds great. We've been looking at expanding our merchandise line, and I thought, what if we did a balloon blast calendar? Yep, so I actually ordered 4,000 balloon blast calendars, and I'm unveiling it here for the first time. Check it out, our balloon blast calendar. So, that's not a um, calendar, that's a colander, Scott. Do you even spell check? No, but I went to a, I, I ordered off a British website. I thought it was just fancy. Colander. Yeah. Col no, it's not colander. It's colander. This is a kitchen utensil. Not great. You have 4,000 of those? Yeah, well, um, we're going to be eating a lot of ramen noodles now, so it all works out. All right. Well, you guys. This is what gets done with your Patreon money. Yeah. Oh, hello to our live viewing audience. Hi. All right, you guys. Well, live from Nashville. It's the Balloon Blast Video Show. Woo! tutorial is going to be just for Christmas. It's a cute little Grinch design that I come up with recently at a restaurant and we're going to put it on a headband. So to start this we're going to need a green, lime green 260. You're going to measure about a three finger bubble and put a half inch pinch twist in it. Then we're going to do a two finger spacer and a half inch pinch twist. So it looks like this. Then we're going to take this part here and we're going to wrap it around that first pinch twist to make the muzzle of our Grinch. And we're just going to twist it back into the pinch twist at the back, back here. Okay? Take off our excess. Tie it. Squeeze the air out all the way to the tail. And we're going to just barely make a little tiny bubble that's going to be the nose of our Grinch. Just super tiny. You can see right here. Or against my black shirt. 
tie it off. Grab your scissors and cut, leaving about inch and a half tail on it. Dispose of the rest. We're going to take that part and we're going to tuck it right in here and twist that tail around that main bubble a couple of times and bring it back to the pinch twist at the back. Tie it off. And cut off our excess. Just like so. And that is going to be the face of our Grinch. Now continuing forward, we're going to take a red 260, leaving a nice generous tail, eight plus inches on the back end of it there. And we're going to tie the nozzle into this pinch twist here on the bottom. Not the one in the back, the one on the bottom, the very first pinch twist we made. Tie it in nice and secure. Like that. Measure down about a hand width. Put two half inch pinch twists. And we're going to bring that right back up into the pinch twist for our nozzle of our red 260s tie. Twist it. And lock it in place like that. Take off our excess. Set that aside for just a moment. Tie it. Don't let it deflate. Now this 260, the remaining part of our red 260, we're going to make about a three to four finger bubble. We're going to wrap it around that connection point between the red 260 and the green pinch twist, okay? And then we're going to make another three to four finger bubble, depending, of course, on the size of your hands. Get rid of our excess. And make sure both of your arms are the same length. We'll tie it just like that. Now, I should have told you, don't get rid of the excess. Keep that 260, because we're going to need it for his hat. And that is going to tie to the nozzle of our lime green 260 up top here. like that and we're going to get rid of the excess nozzle there because we don't want it all bulked up in the middle whoops drop your scissors on the floor accordingly I'm gonna grab a Here white 160 leaving a nice generous tail on the end and the first thing we're gonna do on the nozzle end is we're gonna tie three half inch quarter inch to half inch pinch twist they don't have to be all the same size. You want them sort of puffed out, staggered out, so it has that sort of cotton ball effect to it. Because that's going to be the puff ball on the end of the Grinch's Santa hat. All right? So wrap that around the joint of the green and the red 260 up top. Take off our excess. Tie it off. Do not get rid of this part. We're going to need it in a minute. Now for the remainder of our hat, we'll squeeze it nice and soft. We're going to bend it down and find a point where it looks just right and twist it into those three pitch twists. Now you can get rid of the excess red. We no longer need that part. That's going to put us at this point right here. Okay? I'm going to grab another green 260, or you can use a scrap of green 260, and we're going to tie the nozzle onto one of the ends of the arm there. And we're just going to put a couple of pinch twists or small loop twists in it just to make hands. We don't want them too big. We don't want it out of scale with the rest of it. Cut off our excess nozzle there. 
Put your scissors away, point down so you don't uh, cut yourself, region for them again. And just put those pinch twists in. Like that. Take off your excess. Tie it to the nozzle on the other side of the red arm. scissors, cut your hand, go to the emergency room. No, don't do that. <laughs> cut off your nozzle. That way your excess is gone. I'm going to put those scissors in that pocket. And do the same over here. Just a couple of pinch twists. It doesn't have to be super fancy or anything. Take off that excess. Now, from here, we're going to tie those two pinch twists at the bottom of the red into a pre-made six petal flower. I use red and white here just because it goes with the whole color scheme. You can also leave it as a bracelet. You can add the lower part of his body and make his legs on there if you choose. I'm just going to do it like this. and We're going to tie it right into those two pinch twists. Just like that. Now we're going to take the remainder of our white 260. We're going to put a small half inch pinch twist in it. Take off scissors and cut off the excess nozzle area again. Just a nice little pinch twist. And we're going to sort of position that right around where the front of his collar into the opening of the jacket will be. And we're going to wrap the remainder of the white 160 around the back of the head and twist into that pinch twist. Position everything the way you want it. And pull that down a little bit and measure down the front to right where it meets the two red pinch twists on the body. And we're going to put another half inch to one inch pinch twist and we're going to wrap around that joint like that twisting and locking into that pinch twist and disposing of our excess adjust everything the way you want it now Let's add some ink work. We're going to use an Eddings marker, an Eddings 750 in this case, and we're going to draw sort of some, I'm going to do the Angry Grinch because he's my favorite. We're going to draw our eye shape. Come over on this side. Do the same thing. Blow that dry a little bit. Set that marker to the side. Now, while that's drying, we're going to take our black Sharpie. We're going to draw a vertical line down from the nose, down about almost to the collar. And we're going to do a wavy line with the little cheek curl on the side right there. We're going to match that up, and it's okay if it's a little crooked on the Grinch because he has sort of a crooked little smile anyway. So now that that's probably dry, our white part is probably dry on our eyes, we're going to take, oops, his nose fell backwards. We're going to take an orange sharpie, or yellow sharpie rather, and we're going to color in that white, because Grinch has yellow eyes. And just fill that in doesn't have to be quite perfect because we're going to line it in black in just a bit. Toss that to Scott. Thank you, Scott. Now, the pupils of Grinch's eyes are red. So, red Sharpie time. I'm going to put just a red dot there. Red dot there. 
Throw that to your assistant. Now we're going to outline them just a little bit. Give it that angry brow look. Give him some angry eyebrows. And that is our cute little Grinch hairband. I hope you guys enjoy this one as much as I've enjoyed making it. And I've had a lot of fun with this one the last few days. And Scott gives me a heart because we need a, a heart that grew three sizes that day. Or you can also make it the Christmas bag. But we're going to make it the heart that grew three sizes that day. But yes, as I was saying, I've been getting a lot of use out of this one in the restaurant for about, in all honesty, about a week now is all. But it's been really, really popular, so much so that I'm making it four or five times a night. And once you get the me basic mechanics down for it, it goes really, really fast. with John You're seeing it right I'm alpha plated that so all the sugar stuck to the wall oh, so nice. all right in three two one hey guys it's new product corner again we've got some neat new stuff this episode ho 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 I know well first thing we're going to talk about is some stuff from our friends over at Batalitex Batalitex balloons and Simpertex up until now this is what 50 uh, count bags of 260s from Batalitex have looked like Sort of all in general directions. They look great and, to me. I'm I mean, not they look great. You improve on that. They're great, but you can't improve by putting them nozzle what? up. What? First off, it makes storage real simple because you can fit it way sure more does. of these on a wall rack or in a drawer in, in your storage cabinet at home. Or when they're being shipped to you. Or when they're being shipped to you, the I smaller boxes. Together. Also, it makes loading your rig way easier because everything is nozzle up. It's still 50 balloons, same amount here as there is in here. If it's nozzle up, what's down? The tail. Oh. Oh. Anyways, they, they shorten your uh, load up time dramatically because they're already nozzle up. All you gotta do is load them in your twist them up uh, Velcro strips or, or in your roller foam or in your uh, Matt Falloon uh, organizers. They all just, it makes everything nice and simple. A little more expensive per bag, but not prohibitively so. Also from Pedalitex. We have Merry Christmas 660 Link Alloons in red and green. This they one's look, red. They do. They look just like that. And you can use them to make a neat little house, just like Scott did in the Vitalics, or Vitalitex Be Brilliant video. Hey, I know that guy. Yeah, he's a pretty cool dude. Yeah, but also, oh, in our, uh, our live studio hey. audience, Christopher Lyle has just joined us. Hi, Christopher. What's up? Ah, okay. So, back to our balloons here. Anyway, Scott uses these for all sorts of things. I use them for hats and, and decor jobs. and I use them for air conditioners. Oh, Yeah, so that happens. Okay. So, what else do we have that's brand new, Scott? Uh, I'm not excited about it anymore. Uh, oh, here, hold these. Hold these. What are these? Those are <laughs> basketballs. Scott's Basketball from our friends over at Continental Sales and their private reserve line. Now they're small, but if you squeeze them, whoa! It's a basketball print, five inch round. It's much bigger. I yep. know. We've been waiting for that one for a while. This thing is taking so long to design, too, because you have to get it just right to make it look like a basketball. Still working on the dribbling. Nah, no good. Okay, what else did Continental oh. send us, Scott? Um, these. Blow this up. Blow this up, okay. It's a heart-shaped balloon. But wait, there's more. It has a ribbon on it. What it color is. do you have? I have a uh, white. You can change that. Make right. it green. Or what's your favorite color? Um, let's go with pink. Uh -huh. Purple. Oh yes, Purple. lilac. <laughs> okay. Now these are the Continental Sales Private Reserve Scott Awareness balloons, and uh, 
apparently the uh, Scott awareness. color of Scott Awareness is chaos. But you can actually customize these for every color of every event of whatever awareness ribbon that you want to make. You can do pink for breast cancer. You can do the rainbow puzzle one for autism awareness. And the teal? Do, the teal is... Right here? Right there. And there are others. Um, another unrelated tip, don't mouth inflate these if you put sugar inside for the shaker because the condensation from your breath makes them stick. Look at that. Ew. There we go. There we go, Scott. You take this. Oh, yeah. And these are very useful for any charitable event that you're working for or if you're at a restaurant and somebody, it happens every now and again, you, you encounter somebody who says, well, I'm a breast cancer survivor or I, you know, I've, I've got this person in my life or something like that. But you can make them something a little bit special. It helps make that connection that we always talk about. And it goes no, I great. just look at what people are wearing and have a ribbon. Yeah, that, that as well. Um, but they make great bracelets. They make great hair bands. They make great shaker wands. And right. that is disturbing. Oh, you missed, you missed it. Um, you have so much you guys are missing over here. Yeah, thanks to our live studio audience there, really. <laughs> Keeping our heads in the game. All right, well, that's everything. But that's what's new in the balloon world as far as new products. Well, thank you very much, Santa Sam. <laughs> no? Oh, cut! Oh, do we just stop there? We just try to hope that we we're have gonna, something We're going to edit that out, and oh. I say that's... Hello, people! And audience, today we're making a monkey on a tree. Ready? Done. Okay, there's your standard monkey on a tree, nothing too fancy. But you can jazz it up with jazz music or by adding a banana. Ta-da! Monkey on a tree with a banana. Pretty cool? No? Oh, what do you people want? Oh, I know. We're going to jazz it up by putting a banana sticker on there. Um, I used to draw them on there and write like Chiquita, but my spelling game is not that strong. So then I'd write Dole. And then I realized I'm too lazy for that. I know. Set the bar lower. So I found these really cool banana stickers on eBay. Put these on here. And they look really cool. But the best part is, they're scratch and sniff. Smells like a banana. Smells like a banana. Yeah, we'll go with that. Now, these are a lot of fun. Found this. <laughs> well, these are actually vintage, so I spent more on it because pff, that's what I do. But any scratch and sniff sticker is good. Makes it more fun. So, go on eBay, just don't bid against me, get scratch and sniff stickers, put them on your bananas, lots of fun. Well guys, that brings us to the end of another episode of the Balloon Blast video show. We hope you guys have enjoyed watching it as much as we've enjoyed bringing it to you. I um, want to wish you guys a Merry Christmas, but we also want Happy to encourage you, and encourage you guys, to, if you like what you see here, to head on over to patreon.com forward slash purple pig, pledge a little bit of money, and remember those who pledge $10 or more per episode, get a free tutorial that will never ever be published anywhere ever else again. I guarantee you that what we send our patron, our patrons never gets published on a DVD, doesn't become a digital download, and won't show up in the pages of a magazine anywhere. You guys get something special that nobody else will. Wow. And for our October episode... If it ever airs. Which it did, by the time you see this. In theory. Wow, Mr. Positive over here. So, until next time, on behalf of Purple Pig, who's not here, he's Scott Tripp. He's Sam Cremains. And you guys have a great day. Rise above three twist balloon dogs. No bad clowns and cheap wigs here. I'll raise the bar.
Knock at the base, sparks in the software Flash the message, someone's out there Floating in the summer sky 99 red balloons go by 99